Good morning to you guys. Uh, we're doing a little segment here about hydration. Very important here in the summer, but more specifically, do you know what's in your drink? We've got a sports drink here. We've got a soda. Do you know which one is going to take less of a toll on your teeth? It's not just about sugar. We're going to dispel some of the myths behind uh, what's in your drinks and what you should be doing to protect your teeth coming up in just a couple minutes. Uh, in HealthWatch, uh, we're getting an eye-opening look at how much sugar and how much acidity is in some popular drinks. Drinks that uh, you may be drinking on a daily basis. Yes. Christy Seifkin is live with more. My teeth. I felt like I knew most of the tips for what to drink, what not to drink, what to do, what not to do. All of that was dispelled this morning. So this is actually going to be a very cool segment. And I just had to point out this drink that may or may not be an offender. We're going to talk about that in a second. That someone in our newsroom drinks continuously all day long. And Dr. Mabry, who's a provider with Delta Dental, uh, this drink, a sugar-free one, but we've got all other sorts of drinks with tons of sugar. Sugar's not the only thing we need to be concerned about, though, right, in terms of your teeth? Um, obviously, sugar is bad, but uh, most of these drinks have acids in them to preserve the drinks. Okay. So the acids are maybe more important or uh, more damaging to the teeth than the sugar is itself, so. And you've got a little lineup for us starting from the drinks with the most sugar or the most acidity right. so, to the least. So talk us through a few of these. We've got a few sports energy drinks. Well, yeah, um, sports drinks are kind of newer on the front, but uh, they're they're worse for your teeth than, than the majority of these drinks. Even worse and than a soda with sugar. Yeah, well, there's more sugar and they're more acidic, you know, on average. So you can see some of these have, you know, are on the range over here on the left-hand side are, are way more acidic than what we would consider, you know, like water being basic or neutral and um, or milk or something like that. Each one of these cubes is about six grams of sugar. So you can see, you know, so it's a real representation yeah, of how much absolutely. sugar is in there. Now, I've had this before after I've worked out thinking, oh, it's just like water, but it's toward the acidic end of the right. spectrum. It's, it's acidic and most most of these drinks are acidic to preserve them on the shelf. Unfortunately, it's just what's in there to, to keep them on the shelf longer. Now, as we get closer toward the end, we actually have a coffee drink, something people may not think about. Uh, this is actually toward the better end of the spectrum, though, right? It is, but then you start weighing in the sugar, so it, you know it's it is it, it's a trade-off. It probably is a better alternative than you know one of these other energy drinks. And chocolate milk, not too bad for you. No, uh, I would probably recommend not having sugar, uh, chocolate in it, just regular milk, so that you're you're not having as much sugar. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's not as acidic as the rest of these sure. drinks. So. And we've got a little bit of time left. I wanted to talk about some of those myths. I always thought drinking through a straw, oh, I'm protecting my teeth. Um, you, you are exposing yourself to just as much sugar. It may feel as if you're missing your front teeth, but okay. it's, it's getting throughout. The best thing really to do would be to drink, uh, water before or after you're consuming okay. one of these beverages. That's acidic. And we'd also talked about brushing your teeth right after you have one of these drinks. You think you're helping yourself, are you? Well, if it's acidic, it, which all of these are, you're actually damaging the teeth. So you want to wait an hour after you've consumed one of these drinks to brush your teeth. If you were to drink water before and after, a, a better option. Yep. Okay, perfect. Dr. Mabry, thanks so much right, for joining us today. So hopefully a little bit of new information for you guys. Always chewing gum sounds like a good option yep, yep. afterward as well. Absolutely. The sugar-free kind. Yeah, sugar-free. And uh, drink lots of water between. It's the same old lesson we've known since the beginning of time, guys. And especially important for uh, hydration here in the valley because all these caffeinated ones, well, they're just making more dehydrated. This is a lot more fun to drink, though. Is this going <laughs> to happen horrible for me? It it's acidic. It just doesn't yeah. have the sugar. So. Is the doctor married it. and does I'm, he have children? I'm putting it. <laughs> now, I was wondering Rick, if he... wants, Rick yeah. wants to know if you're married and have children. Uh, I just had a child Monday. So well, yeah. oh. He shot his pictures of a little baby uh, well, wait, boy. Wait, 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 wait so, till the baby gets to be seven years old. I need to get back. So. <laughs> he's, oh, he's saying wait till the baby gets to be seven years old because then you'll have to tell <laughs> your little boy, you can't have this uh, yes. energy drink. Well, yeah. I do have a three and a half year old and she's not oh. consuming any of these drinks. We, oh, we, wow. we pretty much stick to water and milk. And, Wait you know. till she goes to her friend's house. Right, well, she's going to have perfect teeth, so. <laughs> she's got a good person to go to. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Okay. If not, he'll she fix it. She got the hookup here. Yeah. Thanks, Christy.